Miss Rosie, we're ready for you. You'll see, Rosie. It's okay. I'll go with you. Can I? Sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Hop on right here, Miss Rosie. <laughs> Dr. Joseph will be right with you. I was scared too. I was even scared of the mask the dentist wears. But lots of people wear masks. Like this. <gasps> Cowboys and firefighters and dentists wear masks. <laughs> Rosie want too. Coming right up, Captain Rosie. Pilots wear masks too, so they can talk to their co-pilots. Can you hear me, Captain Rosie? <laughs> <laughs> See, masks just help people do their jobs. But... Ghost! <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to laugh at you. It might look scary, but that's just a lab coat, not a ghost. <laughs> it's a dentist uniform. Looks like you have very nice teeth, <laughs> Miss Rosie. I think that if... Uh -oh! <laughs> uh. You okay, Caillou? <laughs> Caillou funny. Not scary, see? But you know what the best thing about the dentist is, Rosie? What? Dentists do the magic that make your teeth shine. Shine like stars. If you call her Captain Rosie. Good tip. Well, Captain Rosie, you ready to blast off?
Today, Mommy had taken Caillou and Rosie to get their eyes tested at the optometrist's. Mommy, why do people wear glasses? Glasses have special lenses that help people see better. Do I need glasses? Well, that's why we're here, Caillou. The optometrist is going to do some tests on your eyes. Caillou didn't like the sound of having his eyes tested. Hi, you must be Caillou and Rosie. I'm the optometrist. My job is to test your eyes to see whether or not you need glasses. What kind of test? Don't worry, they're fun. Come inside and I'll show you. Why don't you take a seat, Caillou? What are those? These are a special pair of glasses we use to test your eyesight. If you're having trouble seeing, I can change the lenses like this. Whoa, everything looks fuzzy. What about now? Yeah, that's much better. Okay, Caillou, I'm going to show you some letters and I need you to tell me what they are. That's an A. Very good. Do you know any words that start with the letter A? Um, apple. Apple, that's a good one. What about this letter? That's a C, for carrot. Excellent. Mommy says that carrots are good for my eyes. That's right. Eating fruit and vegetables is very important for keeping your eyes nice and healthy. Caillou thought the eye test was a lot of fun. Okay, Rosie, it's your turn now. Caillou could see that Rosie was looking a little nervous. Don't worry, Rosie. It's fun. Okay, Rosie, can you tell me what this is a picture of? Excellent. What about this one? Ooh. That's right. Well, I think that's enough testing for now. Why don't you go and take a look at some glasses while I look at your results? Mommy, Caillou, and Rosie looked at all the different types of glasses. What about these ones? Mommy, these ones are too big. I look silly. Well, what about these then? These are cool. They're like something a spaceman would wear. Great news, Caillou. You both did very well on your eye tests. You and Rosie don't need glasses. Aw, but I really like these glasses. Here you are. You can wear these whenever you like. Awesome. Thank you! Caillou was happy he had good eyesight, but he was even happier he was able to keep the spaceman glasses. Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race! Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? 
They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath and then you won't feel so itchy. While mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching. But I'm so itchy, Mommy. If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. He picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yup. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the p <gasps> Now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots! Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. <gasps> Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here, if you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. Today, Caillou was visiting the petting zoo with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. <laughs> It's okay, Rosie. They're just sheep. Sheep are soft and friendly. You see? <laughs> Yuck! Goat kisses! <laughs> Ha ha ha!
What's the matter, Caillou? Oh, you dropped your ice cream. It's okay, we can get you another one. It's not my ice cream, it's my nose. A greedy bee stung me. Oh dear, poor Caillou. Here, this will make you feel better. Why, why did it sting me, Mommy? Well, it probably thought you were trying to hurt it, Caillou. Uh, I did try and hit it, but it was trying to eat my ice cream. Caillou, you shouldn't try and hit bees. They're very special little creatures. Come on, let's follow him and see where he goes. Is that his house? That's right, Caillou. A bee's house is called a hive. That's a big house for just one little bee. Actually, thousands of bees live in there. Listen carefully and you can hear them. It sounds like an airplane. What are those ones doing? They're collecting nectar, which they use to make honey. Bees love sweet things. Like ice cream? Exactly. That bee didn't want to hurt you. It just wanted to share some of your ice cream. Bees should learn to say please. <laughs> Come on. I know something fun we can do to cheer you up. Look! A horsey! Almost, Caillou. That's a donkey. Ride the donkey? Sure you can! Whoa! This is high up! <laughs> Here! These will keep you safe! Hold on to your sister, Caillou. We don't want either of you falling off. strong to carry both of us. That's right. Donkeys may be small, but they are very strong. Like me. Caillou was at the supermarket with Mommy. Mommy, can you carry me, please? Caillou, you're a big boy. You can walk by yourself. But I don't feel very well. Caillou started to cry. <laughs> He wasn't feeling very well. Ooh, your forehead is very hot. You might have a fever. Caillou snuggled up to his mommy. Hmm, come on, let's go home and check your temperature. Caillou was not feeling very well. He had the flu. How do you feel, Caillou? <coughs> My throat hurts. I think we may need to go visit the doctor. No! I don't want to go to the doctor, Mommy. It's always best to visit the doctor when you're ill. They'll make you feel better in no time. Hello there, Caillou. Caillou wanted to stay near Mommy. He was still a little bit scared. So, a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. Well, I can change that. But first, I need your help. You can use my stethoscope to listen to your mommy's heartbeat. Caillou had never used a stethoscope. He was amazed. He could hear mommy's heartbeat. Wow! Very cool, right? Would you like to listen to your own heartbeat? Caillou could hear his own heart. He was really amazed. Now, can I listen? Dr. Rose used the stethoscope to listen to Caillou's heart and lungs. Caillou, I want to look inside your ears now. I'm going to shine this light inside your ear to make sure everything is okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, Caillou. It won't hurt. You can hold my hand if you like. Caillou held Mommy's hand whilst Dr. Rose looked in his ear. Now I want to look at your throat to see if it's red. I need you to open your mouth like this. Ah. Uh... Dr. Rose opened her mouth wide, but Caillou was still a bit worried. 
Now it's your turn. Caillou opened his mouth wide and stuck his tongue out. Ah! Uh... Oh dear, it looks like you have a bad cold, Caillou. Caillou cuddled up to Mommy. He didn't like having a cold. Your Mommy has done a good job taking care of you. Now you need to rest some more and take this medicine. You'll get better in no time. The next day, Caillou was starting to feel a bit better. Mommy brought Caillou a glass of water. But I'm not thirsty. It's important to drink lots of water when you're sick. Are you feeling a bit better now? Let's check your temperature. Oh, Mommy! Caillou, you have to sit still, dear. Caillou couldn't sit still. He wanted to play with his toys. Looks like you're getting a lot better. Caillou wanted to play doctor with his teddy. He pretended to check Teddy's temperature. How is Teddy feeling, Caillou? He's a bit ill, Mommy. I'm going to have to stay here and make sure he gets better. Good idea, Caillou. That's very kind of you. Caillou loved playing doctor with his teddy. He was happy to stay home and make sure Teddy got better.